Verlander, Coria, Astros Romp, Chisox Pitcher Pod Dots is out. Chicago, App, Justin Verlander pitched six sparkling innings, Carlos Coria homered twice and the Houston Astros pounded the Chicago White Sox 10-0 on Friday night. George Springer also drove in four runs with a pair of doubles in Houston's fourth straight victory. Brian McCann walked twice, scored two runs and contributed an RBI single in the Astros' five-run fourth. The White Sox managed just two hits in their tenth loss in 11 games. But the deep slide became a secondary concern after a scary scene in the sixth. Reliever Danny Farquhar passed out in Chicago's dugout after recording the last two outs in the top of the inning. He was attended to team medical personnel and on-site EMTs. The White Sox said he regained consciousness before he was taken to a hospital by ambulance for further testing. Verlander, 3-0, allowed two hits and walked three while improving to 2-0 with a microscopic 0.43 error in his last three starts. The ace right-hander also struck out five to reach 2,455 for his career passing Sam McDowell for 38th on baseball's all-time K's list. The Astros grabbed control in the fourth. Springer had the big blow, a two-run double off James Shields, 1-2, that turned into a little league homer when Tim Anderson's relay throw hit Marwin Gonzalez for an error. Correa hit a two-run shot off Farquhar in the sixth and a solo drive off Carson Fulmer in the ninth. It was his seventh career multi-homer game. Shields allowed seven runs and eight hits in five and one-third innings. He struck out four and walked four. Joe Smith, Colin McHugh and Ken Giles each got three outs to complete the shutout for the Astros. Back again Houston reliever Hector Rondon spent the previous five years with the Chicago Cubs, winning the World Series in 2016. He was non-tendered by the Cubs after last season and agreed to an $8.5 million two-year contract with the champion Astros in December. Rondon said his new team is better than his old one. I think, these, guys are way better, and not just because I'm here, he said. The way they play, the way they focus, the way they prepare is the difference. I think they're better than the, Cubs. Trainers room Astros. It was Giles' first appearance since Saturday. He had been sidelined by back tightness. White Sox. LHB Carlos Rodon, arthroscopic left shoulder surgery, is back in Chicago for a couple days for a checkup with a team doctor and a side session in front of pitching coach Don Cooper. He is expected to begin pitching an extended spring training games in Arizona next week. It's going well, Rodon said. Up next Astros left-hander Dallas Kukul, 0-3, 3.52 era, tries for his first win of the season Saturday. The 2015 Al Cy Young Award winner tossed eight solid innings in a 2-1 loss at Seattle on Monday night. Right-hander Lucas Giolito, 0-2, 5.50 era, makes his first start for the White Sox since April 12 after the team had three straight games postponed last weekend by inclement weather in Minnesota. Underscore J Cohen can be reached at http colon slash slash www.twitter.com slash Jcohen app underscore more app baseball, https colon slash slash upnews.com slash tag slash ml baseball.